This is Damon Stevens, Fiddle of Builders. Today is Monday, <clears throat> April 25th, 2022, and this is stock market update for trades of the day. And uh, boy, what a market it was. Uh, we had a nice little dip, but uh, market luckily kicked in and the bulls kicked in here and tried to pull us up a little bit. So hopefully you're able to catch some of those trades today. But let's get right into this market and see what's going on and see what we can expect for tomorrow and what to prepare for. Uh, you know, again, just remember, we're not financial advisors, but uh, these are the trades that we're looking at and what we're trading. And uh, hopefully this helps you. If it does, <clears throat> please visit us at winfieldwealthlive.com and uh, join our free Discord and our uh, enjoy our free training. And, uh, you know, if you uh, feel it's value to you, then uh, we also have a membership out there as well. So <clears throat> let's get right into it. Looking at the market today, you can see that uh, the Dow Jones closed up 0.7%. Uh, NASDAQ up 1.29%, uh, and the S&P 500 up 0.57%. And if you see it here, you just see we had this nice little flat morning, kind of a little bit of a dip here, and then a nice, you know, just gradual climb during the day. Uh, NASDAQ was a little choppier, so was a spy, but at the end of the day, uh, both of them closed up um, higher. So that's great. That's what, exactly what we wanted to see after last week's sell-off, which was crazy. Uh, you can see here that, uh, you know, in our FANG stocks, we did have money move back into them, which is, again, what, you know, at least for, for us, you know, that's what we like to see because um, we play, we trade a lot of tech. So uh, that's definitely a, an area of focus for us. <clears throat> and, uh, but you can see energy, money flowing out of energy. So obviously, you know, we talk about this, how money ever flows back and forth into, you know, the different sectors. And so obviously as money's flowing out of energy, it's flown into these other uh, areas, including our tech. Uh, also on our small caps here, on our scanner, NKTX, we had traded this one today. Uh, this was a great opportunity. Again, you can see that the volume was there. And, you know, we look for things that are, you know, totally trading over 100% uh, increase because that gives you a lot more chance and a safer trade. Uh, and so let's take a look at some charts here. Let me, my, let me take these alerts off here. So NKTX, this is a 15-minute chart. You see here the low is you know around this eight dollar range, uh, and we had a big huge gap up uh, in the morning, uh, and a run up here to you know around seventeen dollars, uh, and then a pullback to around fourteen, back up to seventeen dollars. So even if you missed the the initial uh, run this morning, uh, you had multiple times to get in here, uh, and so we had another run again, a pullback, and uh, and then. <clears throat> Then we had another pullback here again down to around 15 and then a run up to 18. Now I don't think I had my after hours, but this one ran after hours too, which was awesome. Let me go ahead and uh, switch this over to extended so you can just see the after hours trading. So here's the after hours trading. So you can see here uh, during the day, you know, we hit 1877, but after hours we hit almost $20. Um, so that's great. And then we had a little pullback here, but we're above the 20 moving averages, above all the moving averages here. Training still upwards, so uh, that's looking great. Um, and just to kind of help you understand kind of what we're looking at when we're trading these stocks, if I go to weekly view of NKTX, uh, you can see here <clears throat> that we're on a bounce. So we had this huge sell-off and pullback down to this lows of 755, and then just a huge gap up here and a nice little run uh, over the 20, and then uh, just just underneath the 50 moving average. Uh, but you can see here back, uh, you know, back here, this big old breakdown candle before we had this failure here. That's about the area of the range we're at. And that was back in October 2021. Uh, and so you can see here also, if uh, we, we could possibly run, if we can break this 50 tomorrow, looking for a possible continuation play, you know, possibly as high as 23.94 or even higher. But 23.94 would be the next goal, just because around this 23 range was the last time we had support, which means this will be resistance up here. So looking for a continuation play up here based off of using this weekly chart um, and the, the levels that it's showing. So hopefully that helps you kind of get a visual of how we're trading uh, some of these uh, small caps and uh, how to kind of look at what the levels are. So you really have to kind of look at a you know wider uh, time frame to see where support and resistance was in the past. Um, so that's our that's our trade for uh, NKTX for VERU. This one was a uh, you know a trade clear back in February. Um, that hit the scanner and it popped its head up again today, the last couple of days here. 
uh, and uh, uh, last couple of weeks actually. So you can see here um, a few weeks ago, it, we were back down the $7 range, hit a high of, you know, clear up here around $16, had a pullback, but a nice little run the next week. Uh, and then today uh, we got another run on VERU. And let me go ahead and I'm gonna switch from a weekly view here down to a 15 minute view. So you can kind of see uh, what the price action was today. So you can see here, uh, you had a low coming coming into today, you know, yes, you know, from the weekend, 1048 run up to $14, a pullback to 1275 if you missed it uh, on the first run. And then again, a run up to 1436. And then if we look extended, you see here we pull back to the 20, looking for a breakout above 1436 tomorrow, hopefully to run up here closer to 15, 16 dollars. So VERU is on our short list as well. And then look at earnings. And I know this video is long, but um, hopefully this gives something for everybody. We really want to uh, make sure that uh, everybody that's part of our uh, membership, as well as those that are following us, that they have you know trades based on the size of the account they have and whether their interest is in crypto or, or stocks or small caps. Uh, but tomorrow we have Netflix, uh, <clears throat> we have Johnson Johnson, IBM. Actually, let me skip days. I'm sorry, I was on the wrong day. Um, so tomorrow actually is Microsoft, um, Alphabet, and UPS. I was just looking over at my other chart here, and I was like, wait, man, those are not on my chart. Um, so uh, I have Microsoft up right now. I have Google. I have UPS and 3M. Those are my main ones that I'm looking at tomorrow. Uh, we, like we talked about, you know, on, on the weekend video, we have a really, very busy week this week. Um, so <clears throat> we'll be following these closely, um, as well as the SPY, too, um, and the VIX, obviously, because that could, you know, add to the volatility. But when these earnings come out, you know, this could shape really the direction of the market. Right now, today, we have a little bit of that bounce, um, but, you know, it could totally be taken out if the earnings reports on these uh, companies are uh, are bad. Um, so we really just be careful trading this week um, to see, because we have really, it's going to be clear through Thursday, we're really going to see the impact because um, these large companies have a huge influence on on the SPY and, and the triple Qs and, and the NASDAQ. And so... Uh, just keep that in mind on these earnings. But uh, so tomorrow, <clears throat> this is our focus. We'll talk about Wednesday when we get to uh, to tomorrow night. Um, but uh, hopefully we can uh, you know make some money off of these uh, these moves here. So let's look at Netflix. Netflix <clears throat> last four um, trading day days have been way down here, and just kind of continue putting lower lows in. Um, so you know Netflix has already kind of got beaten up. So my real question is, if we break 200, you know, we could probably come down to 180, 160, um, you know, or lower. You know, we're already in the, the 2018 levels, price levels. Um, so it's really gotten beaten up. Um, but my question is, you know, if, if earnings are good enough here um, or the forecast with all the things that uh, Netflix is talking about as far as with their subscriptions, this could get a huge rally to bounce up to and also possibly fill this, this gap up here as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we, we, there's a huge um, direction we can go either way. So uh, just be careful on Netflix. Google, uh, today you can see here that it had a nice little pullback and a, really, a rally off here, but we are putting in uh, new uh, lower lows. Um, so that's not good. Uh, that's very bearish, but uh, and we're below all the moving averages. So just keep an eye on that one, uh, on earnings. You know, if earnings are great and we can break above, you know, 2,500, we could start to rally up and, and you know, there'd be a good buy opportunity there. Um, but uh, if not, we could have a sell off, you know, below this 2,300 level. So just uh, something to watch for on uh, Google. Microsoft, I came down and hit support. You can see here 270 was support. We came down that range today outside our uh, trend line and bounced back in. So that's good. So we'll see if we get a, uh, good positive news with Microsoft. If so, you know, maybe we can rally back up here um, and maintain, uh, you know, above the support line. And this could possibly be, you know, a, a double bottom here as well. So if we did a double bottom here, you know, if we break out above th th uh, this uh, 315.95, you know, you have a nice rally above all the moving averages here. Uh, that could take a while. So um, just keep that in mind, but we're kind of in this range right now. So looking for really, you know, maintaining above 270, and a rally up towards hopefully, you know, towards this high of uh, 
know, 316. Apple kind of pulled back, almost touched the 200 day and then bounced off and rallied back up. So like that, I like that we closed back in this candle, this breakdown candle. So we'll see if we can rally back up here. You know, really trying to get back above these moving averages at 167. Uh, if we fail, you know, after yes, uh, yesterday's close, we could come back down to this 200 um, and possibly break it. So just something to watch for. Baba, obviously on this downward trend, continue to come down. And we talked about this in, in the video, you know, 73.28 would be, you know, a possible, you know, next support area that we could come into and bounce off of. But we did come down. There was a gap you can see here. And we pretty much feel that gap. So that's a, that's a positive thing. Uh, and we bounced off that. So, you know, it's possible we could break back up. You know, if we can get above 80, uh, 87, we could start to rally back up here. NVIDIA, NVIDIA's, you know, putting in you know, new lows, uh, but did bounce off that, came back up a little bit, uh, but we got, really got to get above, you know, a support line here at uh, 208 uh, to start rallying back up. If not, we could come down here to 178. Tesla, we talked about this as well, under the 20. It's kind of a sandwich here between the 20 and the 50. We've got to break up above, you know, 1,004 1, and rally up. Or, um, you know, if we break down below 976, we might come down to the 100 or even the 200. Amazon, we're kind of right in the middle. So just be careful on this one. Uh, if we can get above 3,000, you know, we can, hopefully we can rally back up here. Um, if we get below yesterday's close, you know, it's, we could very well come down to 2,800. <clears throat> Oxy. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, our, our energy stocks and our oils. So you can see that, you know, it fell off just below the 50 moving average, but rallied up uh, back above it. So we're coming in sandwich between the 50 and the, two, and the 20 moving averages. So until we get above one, the 20 or below the 50, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a choppy trade possibly in there. Bank of America selling off, financial selling off here, a new low it was tagged here. It did come back up and close, you know, higher, but it's still below um, these other candles. So uh, very uh, bearish on, on, the, on the bank stocks. Uh, continue to subscribe, uh, like our videos, and uh, hopefully these are bringing uh, you um, success and, uh, and that you're enjoying them. If so, then continue to like them uh, and uh, share these videos. And that way we can continue to bring this content to you. 10 year year bond. We did break below our support line here. And now we're back into this little range here, possibly. Uh, we really got to get back above this $2.90 uh, $2 here to rally back up. Otherwise, we could break back, at, back down to either 20 moving average here or down um, to our support line at 2.5. Uh, looking at the, the dollar uh, here, you can see. Um, Continues to elevate, so we're you know this is a 10170 right now, um, so 102. So dollar is very elevated, uh, so that 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 can impact us negatively at some point um, if this continues to rally up here. That, um, but uh, that's something to keep an eye on, um, and definitely we can probably see the effects on the market here if this continues to to bounce up here to new highs. The VIX had a nice little spike. And then luckily at the end of the day, it pulled back, which gave us a little, uh, re, you know, I wouldn't even call it a relief rally, but a start of a relief possibly rally, you know, on here. So we'll see, you know, we're back into this candle here, this breakup candle, see if we can pull this down. We still got, you know, get it below the, the 20, 22 area at the market really going. So we'll see what tomorrow brings, see if the volatility can break, come out of the market, allow us to have a great Tuesday uh, rally. SPY. In a dangerous spot right now. So here's our, our trend line coming up here. And you see, we tagged it here, you know, and a couple of times here in March. Uh, and then we broke it uh, on Friday. And uh, so that was a bad sign that we could possibly be coming down a lot lower. And then today we even broke down lower um, around 419 area and almost put in lower lows. And if we did, you know, that could possibly open the door for uh, this fight to come down a lot more. Luckily, it bounced off. It's right on our support line, on our trend line. So tomorrow's critical. This 433 area, uh, we've got to um, hopefully either uh, gap up and and uh, and go over it and hold tomorrow. Or uh, if we break down below that, we could start to come back down here. If we put lower lows in here, 
uh, look for a, a continuation play down, uh, which means a relief rally is not happening. And here's the spot on the weekly chart. And you see again, it's right here on the weekly chart as well at the same spot. So uh, just something to be aware of. And we're below uh, the 15, the 20. So just be careful if you're trading uh, on the SPY. Triple Qs. Uh, so we continue to, to put in uh, these lower lows. Uh, so um, we did rally up here and retrace this candle about 50%. Um, so that's, you know, that's good. Um, but we still need to really get above 334, 335 to get rallying up. Otherwise, we come back, we could come back down, back down to this 317 area. Semiconductors, uh, we had this, you know, pull back here, a new lower low put in, and then a pop up here. Um, didn't quite make it to the top of the, can the candle, but we got above our support line uh, and closed above it. So we'll see if we can rally up uh, towards this 249 area. If we break below yesterday's close, could start to fail and come back down to uh, our trend line. Dow Jones, uh, same thing, it came down, put a little new lower low in, broke up back, rallied back up, got above our resistance line and closed up in this candle. So we really got to get above the 20, uh, the 200 moving average at 342. If we break back down below this candle, uh, we could be coming down to 330. IWM, it did the same exact thing as the, the Dow Jones. So the small caps pull back, lower low, and then a rally back up here into uh, this uh, zone here. So uh, we'll see if it holds. It really gets, needs to get above, you know, this 195 area on the uh, Russell 2000 to start to try to rally back up into these moving averages. Uh, if it breaks back down, uh, especially 194, we could be coming back and retest and might have a triple bottom coming in here around this 187 area. Financials, they came, it came down as well, bounced off, rallied back up. We'll see if it can hold. It's really got to get back above, you know, 37 area. If not, it might come back down to this 35. Energy stocks. So again, pull back or below the 50. We close below the 50 now on the on the energy stocks. So we could very well come back down here to our support line around 70 or even the 100 at uh, at uh, 69. If uh, we can get back above the 50, then look for rallying and a play up to 77.38, which is where the 20 moving averages. The healthcare pullback, new lower low. So again, remember all these, these lower lows, that's more bearish than bullish. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this could be a failed um, attempt on a, a dead cow pants here or you know attempt to rally up and it could fail. So just be careful. You know, if we can get back and hold above, you know. 135, I'll, I'll be more comfortable with that. Uh, if not, if we break back below 133.84, look for a continuation play back to the 200. Gold, so here it bounced off of the uh, the 100 moving average, um, but it is weak, it did put a lower low in. So looking for a uh, play above 1918 uh, or a break down below 1892. Bitcoin, Bitcoin came down, dipped right, right in this 38,000 level. Uh, and so it had a really weak a weekend here where it kind of pulled back. It's trying to rally up today. Uh, and we're back about in the 40s again. So we'll look, watch this tomorrow. I wanted, I wanted to see if Bitcoin can get back above, you know, rather into this 42 range. If it can, you know, I'm going to be watching the SPY to see if, uh, you know, it uh, carries over to the market as well um, of being more bullish and see if we get a movement up. If Bitcoin's pull back down in the morning, then I'll be watching the VIX again, obviously, and uh, and the SPY to see <clears throat> if we're gonna have a, a pullback again for Tuesday. Um, but we do call it turnaround Tuesday for a reason, because a lot of times we do get a turnaround. We did have a positive day today. Hopefully that doesn't mean a negative day tomorrow, uh, but it's uh, important to be prepared for either way. Ethereum kind of gridlocked in this little channel here did pull back below our support line over the um, and then it and then it came up and it rallied back up into this zone again. So really need to get it back above 30,000, uh, three, uh, 3,050 uh, to rally up, or if not, we could break down back to 2,900 or lower. Luna, 
it's found support here on the 50 and above the 20. So hopefully we can rally up here. We're at 96, almost 97, looking for a continuation play up to 104. If we can break 104, we can go towards the, the highs here at 119. So that's our stocks, our cryptos that we're following, uh, small caps, a lot of opportunities out there, depending on the size of account you have, depending on what your interests are. So hopefully uh, this helps you uh, in your, your own analysis and uh, your own trades. Um, it's going to be a busy uh, couple of days here with the, uh, the tech stock earnings coming out. So just trade safe out there. Be prepared for direction uh, for the market to move in both directions, uh, even in the same day. So um, be careful out there. We'll talk tomorrow night, see how your trades went. Again, uh, join our Discord and uh, we post out um, our levels and where the stock we think the stock could go uh, every morning before the market opens. So um, join us and uh, let's make some money together. Everybody have a great night.